Mel, you were in New York for uh, HP Security Summit. I think oh, I had nice. done uh, uh, seven of those uh, before, and I appreciate uh, passing the torch to you on this event. Nice. Um, yeah, it was great. And you know what was really great about it, too, is that we got a nice little CES preview. They had a really nice setup, and I can't talk about it because it's all under NDA. It's all embargoed, but um, had a really nice setup right before the security summit started where I got to play with lots of new devices. And um, there's some things from, some things you're going to want to see for sure. We're going to have to get some in your hands. But it was I, the best part about CES is not going. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> you want to go? We can arrange that. So, no. You know, I, I think I've been probably 20 times in my career, and I, I'm really happy with companies doing all these previews. Um, and HP did a really, really nice one, and they have some some cool things coming out. So we'll talk about that once we can. But yeah, so, so I, I say for the security part of it, and I think something that's really um, worth talking about and something that's really interesting and that has changed quite dramatically with hybrid work with people working remotely, working from home, and now even working from their watches, their phones, their cars. All of these different endpoints require these really sophisticated systems for security, even printers. Now, this was something that like, it's kind of something you have to wrap your brain around if it's not your, something where, that you live in. I mean, who really thinks that much about printing? But obviously, that you know, that's it's a really important thing. The data that's transmitted just from your device to a printer, and if you are not in the office, how are, you, how are you guaranteeing that that printer is secure if you're printing at home? Is it then being left on a printer? Or if you're doing a print from the office, from home to the office, is it being left on the printer? So all of this really sophisticated security that's being built into the endpoint, meaning that if I print to a, to a print from my computer to the printer, Nobody else can just come by and pick it up. I actually have to do like the authentic authentication at the device to get that document. So when you're talking about really sensitive personal information and company data, there are all of these ways that HP is safeguarding that data and safeguarding the machines. And really, when you think about it, if, a, if an enterprise that has, you know, 20,000, 200,000, however many machines out there, if one gets lost, they don't actually care about the machine, they care about what's in it. And so it was really interesting just to see um, just the level of security from, you know, from day zero or zero day, um, however pe some people say it, but basically from the factory to installation of the software, how much protection goes into these devices when they're running in an enterprise environment. But when you really think about it, anybody needs to think through that, right? Like my own device, if I leave it somewhere, the amount of personal data that a, a, if a really good, if somebody is out to steal your computer, they're probably not doing it to sell it on eBay. They're probably doing it to get the data. It's not the actual piece of hardware that has the value. It's the data. And if they're smart enough to figure out how to get it from you, they're smart enough probably to get that data from it. So just it was fascinating to see just the, the levels of security and also just the number of endpoints that you really have to think through to protect. Um, and you know, for me, print was one of those where I was like, wow, I, I didn't really think about the sophistication of safeguarding printers and even taking that to a consumer standpoint and obviously we know hp does both enterprise and consumer how important it is to safeguard that information that goes that you're feeding to through to your computer and i think that's something that a lot of consumers and probably a lot of workers don't really think about you know that's definitely like on the eit and CISO side of the house but it is, it is really something that there are so many ways, especially now with AI, that people are trying to get into people's systems and steal data. And so it's very, very important to have that really, that endpoint security be that frontline defense. So there's there's my big my big wrap up from <laughs> what what I learned in New York. But so it was kind of yeah, I mean, HP has always been aggressive on endpoint uh, on endpoint security, and it really has been a spy versus spy. They they, uh, 
they had a really interesting uh, collaboration uh, with a company, and they still have it, that uses machine learning to be able to uh, detect threats in, in what I considered a, a very unique way. And they also have some rollback capabilities for BIOS, because BIOS is about as low level as you can get, that uh, I think is, 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 is pretty unique. Um, but with this generative AI, uh, we haven't even scratched the surface on yet on, on what is you know spy versus spy, which is whose AI is is better than that. But uh, thanks, Mel, for that. Uh, looking forward to seeing what, uh, what HP brings out for CES.